sometimes being with Porsche community for so long as I have has memories also preserved. I mean, this is just an old picture of us having fun 15, 16 years ago with our Porsches, meeting up, taking a drive, having fun. And actually, this is a, a picture of my one of my 964 Carrera 4. That's a car that I actually loved a lot. Um, and that's another story. And that particular vehicle that you saw, I actually crashed on the racetrack as well. So yeah, another time, another story. But um, my friends are petrol heads like myself. And when my friend called up and said, you know, why don't you take a look at my car? I smiled to him and I said, I would love to. That was the year when this beautiful car was born. Unknown on the transformation and the development this child would have. This car is magic. This car could just have been a normal Carrera too. But the history and the journey the car took was magnificent, making my heart spin. You and I could run away now. You and I could be on our way. Pack our bags and take this love to a different place now. Yes, you and I could be on our way. This is one out of two cars in the world, as far as I know. These uh, numbers are extremely difficult to be 100% sure of. Baby, you're the answer to my prayers Feeling like the world's in our hands Now I know that this is meant to be And uh, I believe that it is underneath this beautiful RS spoiler, we will find the uniqueness. Stock, this is a, a 3.6 liter engine in the 993. But this is a 3.8 liter engine. But don't mix it with the um, Porsche exclusive department in Verk that had a power kit producing 285 horsepower. Or for that matter, uh, the Porsche Motorsport department has the possibility to fit the 3.8 liter engine that produces 299 horsepower. No, neither of those. This is driver Corrodi from Italy. And it's his engine from his Porsche Super Cup producing more or less 330 horsepower. You're the only reason, yes, you're the only reason I am free. With the gear linkage from the um, 993 RS, the Lightning fly flywheel and clutch for that matter, Oh, it connects, I tell you this man. And uh, when you do heel toe, etc., with this car, let's face it. Yeah, you don't need much of a toe to, to get the revving going. No, no, no. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Heel toe. Oi, oi, oi. Light and flywheel does matter when you practice the heel toe performance. And on the B road, 
this car only puts a smile on your face. You don't have to say twice to convince me on that one, I tell you this much. And the gentleman that has built this car truly, truly puts the drivability in the center. And you need to be a matured purist if you are able to design a, such a beautiful car as this one. When you have installed the cup engine, it is easy to carry away. In that case, the uh, Porsche had the 993 RS Club Sport with the huge rear wing. Now this gentleman owning this car has an exquisite taste placing the original RS beautiful shaped rear spoiler. And it's not only the rear spoiler. You can see the maturity the gentleman shows when he built this vehicle. Now, when you look at the cup engine, most of us would have been tempted, I would say, to leave the magnificent aluminium air intake from the cup engine. Instead, he fitted the stock. And the ECU box from the cup engine he has in the garage together with all other original parts from this vehicle. And instead he mapped the ECU for this engine to be sustainable, making sure that the engine will not wear out, giving him a lot of pure joy of driving instead of hours in the garage. And looking at the curve, my speculation is that he would easily be able to produce 400 horsepower in this engine. Instead, he left it at 330, making sure he could go out for a spin, buying milk for his family, returning with a smile on his face. And uh, he will return without any sweat drops on his face, because he also installed the air condition. He has built one of the best driver's car from the 993 range I have ever seen. And uh, inside this beautiful designed vehicle, you will find the stock interior with a proper stereo air condition um, and only change the attribute to remind the driver of the uniqueness of this car. Fitting a Porsche Super Cup authentic steering wheel in Alcantara, buying original OEM RS993 bucket seats, frames the Experian in such a way that your heart starts to change beats. <laughs> One step forward and another back I will never try to fool ya I'm one heartbeat away from going mad Girl, when you're looking like that Closer, closer I'ma get closer to you Yeah, got me, baby Got me hooked on you once again driving machine and compared to the modern cars today you don't have to push the car to 500 kilometers an hour to have a beautiful driving experience I'm wide open for a lot of fun girl when you look like that 
This car is much more easier to drive than um, other vintage cars. You don't need to be careful because the, this car does not have any, well you have ABS system, that's it, but everything else is up to you. It's up to you how to, how to create the speed and possibilities within the car. Oh, and this sound, it's beautiful. Oh, these uh, autumn roads also have 100% dry roads. 155 Super Cup was built between 1994 and 1996. Compared with the RS engine, camshafts are more aggressive, the valves are adjusted manually and the value ram system is deleted. The engine produces 390 Nm of torque, that's 10 more than in a standard 718. The owner named the car 993R and I think that is valid. Porsche has built 23R 967 and of course the 991 in 2016. There are many 993RS attributes also implemented to this Carrera too. One of which is an equipment that has always been, how should I say, close to my heart is this Speedline Wheels Original. I mean, for real, original RS wheels and red calipers, beautiful. Yes, it is. Remember, this is the 90s where brakes were cool. Not as the modern cars today, where we should have black calipers. At this model, it should be the red, big red calipers being authentic, pure. 90s. As all 993, the um, rear axle is a multi wishbone axle with um, LSA standing for lightweight, stable, agile. And um, if you have driven a 964 and jump into a 993, you will definitely feel the change of the stability and corner speed in the 993 models. Oh, these uh, autumn roads also have 100% dry roads, spectacular scenery. I have a cup engine behind me. Can someone tell me what I need more? No, I can't, I'm sorry. And I'm driving perhaps one out of tube cars of this kind in the world. And the uh, cup <laughs> engine, you know, I have, I understand people more buying an expensive cup engine than um, buying an RS. Because if you look at the price ranges of the RS, current, right now in Sweden there is a 993 RS club spot for sales for ridiculous 300,000 euros. I wouldn't pay a dime for that car because I guarantee you that you, I have a more usability and I have much more joy with this cup engine and this Carrera too. Because the agility that this cars perform and I still have the comfort, I can easily take a mid-range trip with my son in this car a club sport you don't do that i guarantee you that and the responsiveness of this engine could not be better in the 993 rs in fact i believe it's worse but please bear in mind i have never ever driven an rs i'm just trying to figure out the prices of the ridiculous 993 rs so if you have bought an RS for 200,000 euros and upwards, I'm sorry. I think you need to um, check you out. Stupidity, that's what it is. 
the prices, I mean, not the car. The car are beautiful. The 993 was introduced in 1993 in the Frankfurt Motor Show. And to be honest, I thought that was quite close. And I believe that the 964 lived for a very short life cycle. Anyway, the, the car was introduced with its spectacular changes in the design. I'm talking about the headlights. It was bold of Porsche design department to lean back the headlights back in those days. If they hadn't done that, I think they would have, would have had an extremely hard task to keep up the beautiful 911 lines over the years. The owner of this car told me that he is actually thinking about if he should make the suspension a bit harder. Uh, I'm not sure I'm with him with that. Of course, I think he has got used to it. By, but me that I have driven, let's say, a few Porsches, I think the softness or, or the balance between uh, driving on the roads and pushing the car a bit are very good because, I mean, let's face it, it's not the fastest Porsche anymore. It certainly was 25 years ago, but not anymore. And uh, uh, from that perspective, I think you, as, as clever as he has been building up this uh, glory of, of uh, driving pleasure, not tearing down the comfort that the Carrera 2 offers, I think he should stick with this uh, hardness of the suspension. I'm not sure he should put Big Erlin's uh, road and track to this car. Yes, it will be faster in the corner, but I'm not sure it's worth, worth it. Worth it. <laughs> but what's worth it is that I have had a spectacular opportunity of driving a 993 with a cup engine. How many people has actually driven a road legal 993 with a cup engine in? I don't think that is many people. I feel privileged and I pay respect for those that haven't had the chance. It should actually be mandatory. If you are a Porsche nerd, it should be mandatory to drive a 993 with a cup engine, I'm telling you. And I believe that many enthusiasts around the world would agree with me when I say that this is the last model with the authentic wheelbase. And it's not the wheelbase that changed with the introduction in the end of the 90s with the 996 model range. It's also the end of an era with the air-cooled engines. And many enthusiasts around the world declared their retirement when the 996 was introduced, saying that this is the model I stop with and they have put in their soul to the air-cooled generations. And the amount of knowledge that you will meet when you find a pure, pure, pure enthusiast within this area is uh, an experience of its own. Sitting down, pour a cup of coffee and listen. Open your ears and enjoy the stories they have to tell. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> oh, ridiculous. You know, when you, when you, the lightness that you have on your feet when you drive this car. Uh, let me put down the clutch for a minute and then listen to the responsiveness. I'm not sure if, if you could understand it, but listen. It is marvelous. And you have that connection. Ooh, can you hear this? 
<laughs> and then the brake and spectacular. Cannot believe I have to I have to turn around. Um, one more and I think I'm done with the uh, video filming right now but just just one more just just one more it's you know let's say that the something needed to be adjusted on the camera because ooh, I would like another round this is a spectacular vehicle to drive the amount of communication the car gives you from the wheels up to the steering wheel through the bucket seat into your body are a class of its own and could not be measured to the modern cars today but it is not a fast car not at all compared to the new ones that you could buy at porsche center today would i buy such a vehicle most likely yes but not a chance in the world I would buy it for the prices the owner are charging today.